Hello guys, welcome to Solving Solutions on the channel where I get solutions to all your solving problems. It's ninth Avenue in class again today. How have you been? On today's tutorial, we are going to show you how to move um, your shape files to CAD and um, KML, right? Good now. Um, these particular shape files are quite familiar. Um, we are going to come down to search and then we go to or we search for to CAD right good then we enter now we have them um, some results here yeah? let's come to export to card right now under the export to card it creates one or more card drawings based on the values contained in one or more input feature classes or feature layers and supporting tables right good now um we are going to Convert these three to cards, um, to card, right? These three, um, shape files to card at the same time. Now, one thing about card is that the data set to use, um, it's best, it's projected, right? Good. So, and on our last video, we tried to convert, um, the, or change the CRS of some shape files, right? Good. So this particular shape file is in a projected coordinate system, which is, um, WGS 1984 UTM zone 32, right? Good. So if you want to, if you're thinking of um, actually converting from shape files to CAD, you need to also change the projection, which is on our previous video. And then again, we can convert uh, multiple shape files to CAD at the same time. And um, so for the input, let's um, impute what our data we have this. So we are trying to convert the three at the same time, right? Good. So we have the three inputs, right? A collection of official classes and official layers whose geometry will be exported to one or more CAD files. Then the output type, let's use um, DXF2017, right? Good. Then the output um, file directory or maybe the destination. So we have done the folder connection. Let's call this um, SS1, right? Good. Because um, we are also going to convert to KML. So we'll call that um, SS2. So we click on save. We leave out these options that are optional. Then um, let's actually click on OK. So if you have any need to move from um, AutoCAD, sorry, from chip file to AutoCAD, and then you are using um, ArcGIS, this is a success um, report, right? Good. And you're using ArcGIS, that's the process. So we are going to access our folder and then open it up. Good. So we have what SS1, right? Now you can rightly see that um, we have um, successfully exported um, those shape files to AutoCAD and you can see the topology these two um, local governments share a boundary and then this is another local government basically you can see that um, they are where they are supposed to be and then the coordinates are actually showing what the projected CRS right good so that's um, one of the aims of today's video and subsequently we also want to good we also want to i think i should just take this out because i might not really need it good so we also want to convert to kml right good so we can rightly remove the card here and then insert kml enter so we have what layer to kml right so for the conversion to kml that's the um, shape file to kml we have what them um, layer to kml right now for the layer to KML, it does not um, allow multiple inputs. That means you need to do it one at a time. So let's say we are working with um, Asaga and then the output um, directory. Remember the first one we called it um, SS1, right? Good. So that's solving solutions one. Let's call this um, SS2, right? Good. And then there is no it's not available for us to preview because that was um, a DXF AutoCAD file. And then this is a KML will be Google it file, right? Good. So we click on save. Then the layer output skill optional. So 
maybe if you want to do anything about the data content properties maybe you can use this option the extent properties maybe the output image properties so if you just want to leave everything as default on the layer to kml um, command or tool just click on ok good so we have what a progress report right so we are also going to assess that on google it so we have access to good so we have um, opened it up on um, google it we can actually modify tilt and compass and we take it up a bit then um, come down to the properties and then work on what the color outline let's make this red and then perhaps make this um two so that we can see the outline better so we have successfully moved from shapefile to um kml using arcgis right good so let's come back to uh App map so thanks for coming to class and um, on today's tutorial we have been able to show you how to export or convert your what your shape files i think it will basically suffice for all vector data or let's say most vector data so we have been able to move from shape file to what to autocad and then we have also been able to move from shape file to kml right good using the to card and then the yeah to card and the two KML um, tools on them um, on Arches. So we are going to see you on the next one. Ensure you keep staying safe and have a very good time. Bye.